What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jimmy James 59 and the new DLC to Age of Empires 2 DE, the Dynasties of India expansion, drops on April the 28th, and in addition to introducing three entirely new civilizations to the game, we also have substantial revisions of one of our current civilizations, and that is the civilization that is the Indians, which will be renamed into the Hindustanis. Now, the Hindustanis are going to have a lot of changes, particularly to their camel line that will that will make them different from the original version that we will be saying goodbye to. But one of the changes that has received quite a bit of attention on Reddit and in the forums is the fact that now the Hindustani cavalry archers are going to be missing Parthian tactics, right? Which is something that the Indian civilization had been one of the rare civs that has had fully upgraded heavy cavalry archers, right? Into the post-imperial phase. And this has become a point of contention with many people arguing whether or not this is significant. Now, I've done a tier list on Cavalry Archers, uh, feel free to take a look at that. I will go ahead and put a link to that at the end of this video. And even in the comments to that video, we have had a pretty long back and forth actually about whether or not a civilization that, say, misses Parthian tactics but uh, has the last armor upgrade at the blacksmith is equivalent to a civilization that has Parthian tact, right? That has all the armor upgrades, but misses Parthian tactics, right? It's a major point of contention, I think. And so I wanted to go ahead and do this video so that way we can try and settle once and for all what the impact of Parthian tactics is on gameplay. So let's go ahead, jump into the video. We got a lot of testing coming this way. Let's get after it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is figure out what exactly we are getting from Parthian Tactics. And so we'll just scroll above the technology and sort that out here, right? Parthian Tactics will cost you 200 food and 250 gold. Now what you're going to get out of it is that your Cav Archers are going to get plus one normal, that's melee armor, and also plus two pierce armor. But in addition to that, Cavalry Archers are going to be granted plus four attack against the Pike Line, whereas Unique Mounted Archers are only going to get plus two attack. So... If you're making units, for instance, like Mangadai, that's where it's going to help you there. So you want to know that if you are making a Cavalry Archer class unit from the castle and you have Parthian Tactics, you're not going to get the exact benefit from it as you would if you're going Cav Archers. Now, if we take a look, right, scroll over to the Blacksmith and look at Ring Archer Armor, we're seeing that Ring Archer Armor is 250 food and 250 gold, so it's a 50 food more expensive, and it's granting the same armor upgrade. So... Parthian Tactics really indisputably is a better upgrade than Ring Archer Armor, and you're going to want to get it first, right? Not only is it a little bit cheaper, but you can also research Parthian Tactics while you're researching Bracer because you have your Blacksmith running at one time, and then you have Parthian Tactics running in an archery range at the other, so you can get those upgrades a bit more quickly so that your units are ready to go. Now, the last thing that I'll say about Parthian Tactics is that it is a very uncommon technology, right? There are not a lot of civilizations in the game that receive it, right? I think it's uh, it's really only a dozen or so, right? I'm going to put a list here on the uh, on the screen. And you can see, again, that this is there's a lot of civilizations that don't get it. And of the new civilizations that get it, uh, it's only going to be the Bengalis uh, and or obviously the Indians, right, are, are here on this list. And the Hindustanis, right, are not going to get it once the Indians are converted into that civilization. So the technology is pretty rare. And so given that it's so rare, it's really worth our time to ask ourselves, well, OK, for the civilizations that get it, well, what are you getting out of it? We're going to explore that here uh, just coming up. But first, I want to take a look at the cavalry archers that we're going to be using for our primary testing in this video. So the first thing that we want to do here is take a look at some of our candidates that we want to think about in testing the effect of Parthian tactics. And so the first thing I want to do, right, is show you what 
a fully upgraded heavy cavalry archer looks like, right? We have seven plus four attack. We have five melee armor. We have six pierce armor, seven range, 80 HP because we have bloodlines, right? So this is, uh, this is, you know, currently, right, the Japanese, the Saracens, right, all look like this, the sort of OG Indian civilization, right, that we have right now. But in a week, right, we're going to get something that looks a bit, a bit more like this, right? They're not quite. So here we have the Bulgarian heavy cavalry archer, right? We have seven plus four, right? We're missing the last armor at the blacksmith, but the Bulgarian heavy cavalry archer does have Parthian tactics, right? The Hun Cavalry Archer is the same way. Now we can contrast this, and we definitely will in testing, with the Spanish. Again, we see identical stats to the Bulgarians, but the Spanish get the last blacksmith upgrade, and the Bulgarians do not, right? So that's the trick, right? Again, they have the same performance, so we really don't need to test them against one another, but, right, it will be important to test them against a unit like Spearman. So we'll do that a bit later on. Now, a couple other units I want to consider here, right? What is the Vietnamese, right? One of the things that's been suggested by many people is that the Vietnamese actually have a pretty top tier heavy cavalry archer that deserves to stand among the likes of Japanese, Saracens, and OG Indians, right? So we're going to take a look at the Vietnamese because they're missing Parthian tactics, but their cavalry archers, right, because it's an archer unit, gets 20% more HP, right? So we're going to be really interested to see how that affects the way that it is played. Now, we can also take a look at the Cumans, right? And this, this is a unit that has full upgrades, but... It's missing Bracer, and so one of the things that we just want to take a look at in this video is see how a unit that lacks Bracer performs in these testing, uh, in these testings with Parthian Tactics to see if we understand, right, just the effect that Parthian Tactics, Bracer, that all these Cavalry Archer upgrades are going to be having on the unit's performance, and we're going to take a look at that in the next video. First, we're going to look at Heavy Cavalry Archer versus Heavy Cavalry Archer matchups. Okay, so before we jump into, right, looking at these fights here, I just want to think about what the arguments are on either side, right? The, the sort of Parthian tactics is a very important, if not critical technology versus those who argue that it's not really having a major effect on the battlefield. And to be clear, right, having Parthian tactics or not does not make your cavalry archers unusable in any sense, right? You got to be missing a lot more upgrades to get to that point. But again, the debate here is not whether cavalry archers are usable or not without Parthian tactics. It's whether Parthian tactics really takes your cavalry archers up to uh, the next level, right? A tier or two tiers, right? Above above uh, a sort of cavalry archer that does not have it. So that's what we're trying to think of here. And so I think the side that argues that yes, Parthian tactics is very important, most of the arguments are essentially mathematical ones, right? That the extra pierce armor is making your cavalry archers so much more resistant to pierce damage that they can really stand and fight. You keep them you keep them alive a lot more. And because cavalry archers are so expensive, you wind up saving a lot of resources. And when it comes to the damage against the spear line, right? Again, it's kind of the same thing. Increasing, right, your DPS, right, your damage per second against the spear line is really massive, not just per, for protecting your cavalry archers, but also light cavalry units often accompany cavalry archers in the field. And so being able to shred through those guys much, 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 much quicker is, again, that's what's purported, right? We're going to test that out. But the idea that you can shred through them a lot quicker is something that is very valuable to your Imperial Age army composition, right? Now, the side that argues that Parthian Tactics is not as important of a technology tends to cite a couple of reasons. The first, as it pertains to Halberdiers, is that heavy cavalry archers with the damage that they have can already shred through Halberdiers fairly quickly, and so the Parthian Tactics added damage is not really 
changing the game all that much. It's not really increasing survivability. The second aspect here, and this deals with the Pierce Armor uh, point, is that Heavy Cavalry Archers are often a fire support unit, right? And so if your Heavy Cavalry Archers are taking a lot of fire, then they're probably not in a great situation already, right? And so something has kind of gone wrong. You shouldn't be expecting your Heavy Cavalry Archers to be under a lot of direct fire, right? And so the fact that you're missing, right, that extra Pierce Armor in a practical sense is not going to have that much of an impact on your army. Now, to this point about halberdiers, again, we're going to test it out. And to this point about the Pierce Armor, again, we're going to see in the upcoming test, looking at some cavalry archer fights here, what we're going to look at is just how much longer does it enable cavalry archers to stick it out, stay on the battlefield when they do run into problems. Um, you know, this is something to think about. I have a bit more to say at this at the end of the video once we go through the testing, but let's go ahead, jump into it, take a look at our cavalry archers. Okay, so in a contest between fully upgraded heavy cavalry archers and then those that miss uh, one of the last armor or Parthian tactics, we can see that the fully upgraded are really starting to come out on top. Uh, they're doing seven damage per shot, whereas the others are only doing five. So that's a 40% increase. And we see they end with about 40% HP remaining. And just to give you how much of a sense that the fully upgradedness matters, I tested this also against Mongol heavy cav archers that fire, I think 25% faster and they miss ring archer armor. And we can see the, the fully upgraded right? Japanese heavy cavalry archers are once again winning fairly handedly in this matchup. All right, so given the discussion around Vietnamese CA, we're gonna take a look at that right here with looking at Vietnamese CA versus fully upgraded heavy cav archers. And again, we see that it's a pretty familiar story here, right? With the fully upgraded CA, that Pierce Armor allowing them to hang out in the fight, get a lot more damage, and they're gonna end with about 40 to 45% of their HP left. So that's a win for the blue team. Okay, so now let's test out, right? Uh, fully heavy cav or fully upgraded heavy cav archers versus cumas that are only missing bracer and again this is just going to illustrate to you right the importance of bracer the human heavy cav archers fall pretty quickly so again this goes just to show you that one damage helps a lot plus we're not accounting for the plus one range of bracer here as well okay and lastly let's see what happens if we give the Huns, right? A bit of that numbers advantage, right? We're gonna give them a 24 versus 20 CA. Again, what we can see, right? Our Hun CA are gonna go ahead. They will die off, right? Again, 36 to 41% of HP remaining. Once again, a win for fully upgraded heavy cap archers. Okay, so you can imagine, right? We can extrapolate this out to a lot of other units, right? Again, I think that the, right? We can imagine our fully upgraded heavy cav archers because of the way we've seen them, right? You can tell they're gonna do better against Arbalist as well. They're going to do better against Skirmisher, though let's be real, heavy cav archers in general are not gonna to do too well against Skirmishers because of their high bonus damage and high pierce armor. So that'll be a bad matchup for the unit regardless. And there's really no need to test it. What we have seen so far is that having Parthian tactics, right? And having that fully upgraded heavy cav archer has been a pretty massive advantage. It's giving us fights where we have close to half of the HP in our units left over. And it's worth thinking about why that is. And what's happening in these tests is that the heavy cav archer is able to do more damage, right? I think I mentioned earlier, right? It's the fully upgraded heavy cav archer is going to only be taking five damage where one that's missing either Parthian tactics or the last armor upgrade is going to be receiving seven damage. That is a 40% jump going from five to seven. And we're seeing about 40 to 45% of the units being left over as well. So the math actually does kind of add up here. And that means that what's happening, right, is that the, the worse off CA, right, they're dying sooner. And so that means that we have times actually in these battles where there's 20 CA on one side 
and then there's about 10 on the other and so that's a massive massive moment for the the side that has the numbers advantage to to take the lead now one of the things that you might be thinking about and it's oh definitely a worthwhile thing to consider is whether or not cavalry archers actually fight this way right and one of the things that i want to say here in terms of testing is that you got to remember that if we're talking about parthian tactics we're talking about being in an imperial age setting here hit and run with cav archers is very common in castle age it's pretty much the only way you play them uh taking stand-up fights can often be hard because you can have lots of skirmishes around crossbows are still doing well against them at that point again because it's imperial age with cav archers we are able to get four additional pierce armor on the unit so that's where cav archers right start becoming really a very tanky option and so in imperial age right you still have some hit and run with the units but there are definitely moments where you find yourself having to actually stand and fight so there is sometimes some hit and run especially if you're dealing with units say like knights but usually by the time we get to imperial age we're starting to deal with some multi-unit combinations right and so it's worth understanding how much firepower the heavy cav archer has right and how much fire it can sustain and so right we can see that having that extra pierce armor allows your heavy cav archers to really really hang out and stay in fights in ways that missing that armor is going to cause some difficulty with now the other thing about parthian tactics that we want to take a look at that we want to consider is we want to see how much damage and how much survivability are we getting out of fighting with halberdiers right so what kind of damage can we do now let's go ahead we're going to take a look at that here in the next section okay so now if we look at spanish heavy cav archers missing parthian tactics we can see right that they actually take quite a bit of damage they have some trouble thinning out those halberdiers sometimes they lose this matchup sometimes they win with a little bit of hp we can contrast this with the bulgarians who actually right you can see the halberdiers are actually going down much quicker right sometimes the bulgarians end with half of their hp left if we look at humans who do have parthian tactics and no bracer we see that humans do about as well as the bulgarians and finally if we look at vietnamese without parthian tactics but more hp we can see that they have some trouble thinning out the ranks and they win but only with about 15 to 20 percent of their hp <laughs> All right, so let's think of some concluding thoughts, right? And also think about the testing itself, right? What have we seen? Well, we've seen that the Pierce Armor has a lot of an effect in ranged fights, and the math really do seem to help Heavy Cav Archers stick around the battlefield. I think that the really important takeaway here for me thinking about this, and again, we're trying to answer the question here, is Parthian Tactics overrated or underrated, right? or at least maybe worth what a lot of people say it is because there's a lot of divide out there so i think that the more you can play hit and run tactics with your cavalry archers the less parthian tactics is going to impact its effect so if we're talking castle age if we're talking maybe early imperial age when you don't quite have the numbers stacked up yet and you're still being forced to hit and run and you're playing really solely a fire support unit parthian tactics is not going to have as much of an effect because again you're probably not taking as much fire say if you're hitting and running you're kiting knights right but once we get into some of those late stage imperial battles where you can't hit and run and you actually have to stand and fight and the truth is that eventually a lot of imperial age fights do eventually culminate into such a battle right parthian tactics we can see that it really gives your units a lot of staying power right the extra pierce armor is going to be able to allow you to hang in there versus arbalist or versus skirmishers any kind of ranged unit other heavy cav archers as well you're going to hang in there a bit longer right now this is also true if we think about right we saw that the damage potential for taking out halberdiers is much much greater it's true that in the testing right 
We could have put some Hussars in front of those units. The pathing can kind of get a little wonky and I'm not very good with the scenario editor. So some of that's a little bit of my difficulty, but what the testing does showcase is just how much more quickly having Parthian tactics allows you to take out halberdiers where we saw having it, right? The Spanish and Vietnamese CA really tended to struggle. And of course, usually you'd be running away from such a fight, but the point is that it takes them a lot longer to kill those units. So if you are playing Spanish cav archers, if you are playing Vietnamese cav archers, right? If you're going to go down that quickly, then that means you're going to have to take a lot more time to kill the halberdiers that are killing your hussars. And yeah, even though hussars and light cavalry are trash units, you don't want to be throwing away 400, 500 food, especially if you might be trying to get other upgrades, right? So you want to be able to preserve food at least until you get into like those post imp, like really, really post imp battles when you are just trying to spam units out. Now, it's having an effect and having Parthian tactics, right? Enabled, say, civs like the Bulgarians to really preserve a lot of units and take out halves a lot quicker. But also something really to keep in mind there is we saw that the Cumans who miss a Bracer, because they have Parthian tactics, they do a really good job at taking out Spearmen. So if you're playing with a civilization that has Cav Archers that gets Parthian tactics, but is maybe missing, right, say, Ring Archer armor, or is missing Bracer, right? You still may be able to use the unit to thin out Halberdiers. So we're talking about civilizations like Cumans and Persians are another one that I'm thinking off the top of my head, right? They both have fully upgraded Cav Archers with the exception of Bracer. In those instances, right, you might find that Cav Archers are not a bad unit if you're dealing with Mass Halberdiers. That's a place where Bracer is not going to hurt you as much. Now, when it comes to actually dealing right that damage with those units you could run into trouble and you might need to rely say more on your raiding units to be able to keep your opponent off balance because you're not going to have the dps from your heavy cab watcher line so in the end right in the end what is the answer here and i think that the answer is that based thinking about the cost right because it's actually a little less expensive than ring archer armor and just how much durability and ability to counter one of not only the units counters in the halberdiers, but also the units trash support in the light cavalry line, their primary counter. I think I gotta say that the testing seems to indicate that Parthian tactics is a pretty va pretty valuable technology, right? So what does this mean going forward? Well, it means that I think that this suggest that the complaints and the fears right of people who see the hindustanis miss the parthian tactics upgrade now i think it confirms that actually those fears may have some sizable value because we need to think about the hindustani army right hindustanis miss knights entirely so you're going to be reliant on hussars probably as a trash unit right? maybe skirmishers as well if you're going to play something like camel skirm but if you are running up against a counter to your camels what do you play against it right if you run into halberdiers you're going to have a much harder time as hindustanis actually thinning out the ranks of those halberdiers right think about it even if you are hitting and running and one shotting right if you have parthian tactics then you really are only going to need six heavy cav archers to one shot if you don't have parthian tactics right you're going to need 10 right it's a much bigger number here and it's something to really keep in mind so hindustanis are not going to be able to thin out those halberdier ranks nearly as easily and given that you're pretty reliant on camels you probably can bet that you're going to see a steady dose of halberdiers so how should you play the matchup? Well, there's probably two ways. One is to go ahead and play skirmishers and go to that trash matchup. The other way to maybe think about it, right, is that, and I think that this is the reason why Parthian Tactics is gone, at least for the moment, is to incentivize playing hand cannoneers. Now, hand cannoneers, that's going to be a totally different beast. We're going to have some videos looking at that in the future as we try to understand what the changes to the the new Hindustanis, right, and the Shatagni technology and the Civ bonus that 
that's going to be granting more armor for your hand cannoneers for the hindustanis we're gonna to have to take a look at that and see what it's all about now also thinking about this if say you're up against a composition like arbalist halberdier right you can run into some difficult situations if you try to go heavy cav archers because again you're not going to have the pierce armor to really stick it out in those heavy cav archer arbalist fights right it's going to get a bit more difficult there because again you're going to be missing two pierce armor and even though we didn't really do the testing of that in that video you've seen the impact that two pierce armor has say on cavalry archers it's going to be pretty similar when it comes to arbalist as well right any pierce armor that you're lacking there it's going to make it a lot lot easier for the unit to to deal damage to you so right that's going to be a problem with with arbalist and again you're gonna want to hope that your hussars are able to thin things out the other thing to think about for the hindustanis is going to be their unique unit the gulam i might be saying that wrong might be saying that right i don't even know and that is an anti-archer unit but again you're gonna need to make it from a castle it's not terribly expensive it is a bit uh it is a bit on the gold cost i think it's looking like something like 30 food 45 gold so mm, it's something right it's actually a little cheaper i think than an eagle warrior right eagle warrior is a little more gold and a little less food so it might be comparable to think about it in that way and so the gulam is probably going to need to be an option for you in your army now for the hindustanis because lacking parthian tactics is unfortunately going to be what I think is a pretty serious downgrade to their to their heavy cavalry archer. So you might make it in the castle age, right? But be careful what you do with it in Imperial Age and make sure just go in armed with the knowledge that it's just not going to have the same kind of survivability and it's not going to be able to take out the halberdiers as well as when they had Parthian tactics. And that's going to be the end of this video. I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope you got a lot out of it. Um, no testing is perfect in the scenario editor so you know that's just the way way of the beast there but i think that you've seen that at least the 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 things that have been discussed with parthian tactics and the kinds of numerical advantages it give i think that we do at least have a decent sense that it's not insignificant it's actually pretty significant here and definitely if you're playing cav archers and you have it you should pick it up so with that i'm jimmy james 59 and i'll see you out there in the ladder peace